Well, people should look to history and realize, even if they feel this is very difficult to pass an amendment to undo Citizen United, we've passed amendments before. But sometimes I hear people say, oh, constitutional amendments, we can't do that. It's something they did, you know, back when they wore powdered wigs in the 1700s, and that's just wrong. When the public gets mobilized, almost anything can happen. Lincoln once said, with public sentiment, anything is possible. Without it, nothing is possible. They needed money, and there wasn't enough money in the federal government coffers to deal with some of the new legislation. So the income tax amendment was critical, not only for the progressive legislation to enforce it, but for the New Deal. The foundation of the New Deal was possible only by the federal government having an income tax. And then you had a series of corrupt legislators who were being bribed by businessmen to get a seat in the Senate. So one senator would be called the coal senator, another guy would be the oil senator, another guy was the beef senator. So the 17th Amendment is passed, making direct election of senators. Well, sometimes the people may be wrong. <laughs> you know, in a democracy, you cannot say that everything they're going to do is right. And luckily, we had a self-preserving mechanism where we could have the 18th Amendment ending drinking and the 21st Amendment bringing it back. With the downfall of prohibition being celebrated in real old-time hilarity. So it shows that the people can be wrong and they can right their wrongs. <laughs> Woman's suffrage is a long story of hard work and heartache crowned by victory. And then, of course, you have the 19th Amendment, years and years of work to get women's suffrage, and it finally culminated not long after this period. So it was a wonderfully fertile period, I think, for people feeling we can change the country. It is a democracy, and it's in our hands. In the 60s, you had the civil rights movement, and really the, the sense that young people had and, and older people had that we can make a difference in this country, that our public lives really matter to us. We were citizens in the 60s. We were citizens at the turn of the 20th century. We are actually overdue for a constitutional amendment in this country. Uh, Americans regularly need to pass constitutional amendments in order to renew and refresh, if you will, uh, how we secure that promise of liberty and equality for all Americans. Uh, the Supreme Court gets it vitally wrong many times, such as the Dred Scott case that said African Americans can never be citizens. The Supreme Court decided that women have no right to vote. The Supreme Court decided that there's nothing wrong with a poll tax. The Supreme Court thought that there was nothing wrong with drafting 18, 19, and 20 year olds and sending them to war even though they had no right to vote. All those cases and more were overturned by the constitutional amendment process. Article 5 uh, makes clear, and the founders intended this, that we, the people, have the last word. If you have targets, and the target is the passage of this amendment, then you can get people to work on that target and the broader argument about inequality of income. Madison said we should do constitutional amendments only on extraordinary occasions, and I think most Americans agree that we now face our own extraordinary occasion. We're getting brainwashed into thinking that we're consumers, but we are citizens of these United States, and we have responsibilities as citizens, and we need to wake up.
because if we don't do something, those responsibilities may be taken away from us. And if we're not watching, it's shame on us. Uh, not only for my generation, but for the next generation. So that we are looking at a United States that is truly a democracy and, and doesn't migrate toward tyranny, toward, toward the very few making the decisions for, for the many. And I think what American history teaches us uh, over and over again is that we actually believe in our American promise of equal citizenship, of human liberty, and our own responsibility. And when asked to step up, Americans step up and do what's right.